New on Daybreak, there's a special blood drive today in Mooresville. Family behind the drive knows all too well what it's like to need blood. Brittany Lewis has their story. <laughs> to understand why this laughter is so sweet. Oh, it's <laughs> great. <laughs> Why that smile on Kylie Strudelmeyer's face is so infectious. I guess can you imagine having a wedding in the hospital? <laughs> you have to know what the family sitting in this living room has been through. I was diagnosed August 1st this year, and that's my birthday. <laughs> Her 15th. My, they, I didn't get told till the day after, though, so it was, it's all good. Cancer. It was rough, but... <laughs> but there's that smile again on her face in the hospital, as beautiful as the crown on her head she wore as homecoming princess. And you can bet it's been there while she's on the volleyball court with a little help from those around her. My friends and family and all of Mooresville pretty much. Yeah, I remember that night. Oh, uh, yeah. Especially that guy sitting next to her, her older cousin, Brandon. I hated it. <laughs> I Kept telling myself she's too young for something like that, and she didn't need to go through it. He got the call that she had cancer not long after he was married while on his honeymoon. When he returned, he too started to feel sick. I woke up that morning with a bad pain in my stomach. Couldn't hardly even stand up straight. Five days later, doctors gave him the news. August 15th is when we found out I had cancer. Two weeks to the day Kylie learned she did. I only know it was kind of crazy because I guess it made me feel like he's going to go through it with me, so it's going to be better. And he has. There he is shaving off her hair. There she is shaving his. While she's been at Riley Hospital for Children, he's been at the Simon Cancer Center. Cousins crushing cancer, as they say. I got him still your older brother. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> With the help of the people in this living room, their community. A lot of fundraisers for us, for both of our families, and like they'll put up signs. So. And oh yeah. Makes me smile. <laughs> that smile. And so why... Such a beautiful smile, and despite all that they are going through, Brandon and Kylie wanted to give back to the community. They say has done so much for them. The two have also been getting blood transfusions during their treatment and say they know how it feels when a person is in need of blood. So today they will hold that blood drive at Paul Hadley Middle School Library in Mooresville from 3 to 8. We'll get information on how you can register on wishtv.com. Well, you want to talk about a strong family. Oh, I know. They're dealing with their own stuff and still pushing forward with the drive. Uh, were they comfortable sharing their prognosis? How how are they doing? Yeah, so Kylie and Brandon have both been going through chemotherapy. Brandon has five rounds left. Kylie's almost done. Wow. And then she'll have radiation for a few weeks after that. So hopefully after that, then they'll be in the clear. I love seeing stories of strength mm -hmm. like this. You know, just when you think that they may have been dealt more than they could handle, they're just powering through. It's amazing. And they want to help others, too, while yes. they're going through this, which is so amazing. So great. Cool family. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's 638 right now.